Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. So today I actually um decided to let her bar <laughs> hands, body, and his hands. Um the hands actually are not bad against her skin tone, so they, I think they blend well enough, which is nice because they they do have some of the same undertones and stuff, uh hands and this this little one. Um, I think the hands may be a little on the small side for her because her head is bigger, but it it wouldn't be too bad. Um, but he's going to keep his hands. I'm trying to see what that is on the fist right here. Oh, to get my tweezers and tweeze that off right there. But anyway, um, so I thought I would get this one dressed. I need it to put her on some type of body i i could i cannot really like fully connect with just the head so and i want to know how i feel about this baby so i can decide what what um number <laughs> she will be for um rooting um, because I try to root like a baby that's for sale and then a baby that's personal like that. I try to, you know, even it out a little bit like that so I can still get me some dolls too. Um, but yeah, this, this is, this is like what I enjoy and this is what occupies my brain and my time and my thought process. I am not so much in tune with everything else that's going on, like, in the community. And I think my channel is not as, maybe not as fun or juicy as some of the other ones because I don't have all the hot topics going on and all the arguing and bickering back and forth going on with my channel. But, you know, I actually am at peace and I don't care if I only get, you know, one person watching. Okay, I want more than one person watching now. Because y'all ain't finna have me doing these videos for one person. <laughs> in that case, we could just do a private chat. But, um, yeah. So, I, but I do, you know, I'm not, uh, like, subscriber count driven. Um, plus, I already know the, how the algorithm goes up and down and how they slowed down my channel years ago um i had so many viral video videos that they've stopped you can't even they don't even come up most of the time for people to view anymore so um i had a video that <laughs> every month was like getting 10 20 thousand views on it a month to where it's you know barely performing so um there's that and i'm not starting my channel over just to try to go there because a lot of that is people that's not in the community anyway um it's just people that come across these crazy people playing with dolls basically i'm just saying it how they they view us not that we're really crazy um so I don't know if that that is, you know, it's beneficial money wise, <laughs> but otherwise it it doesn't hold any true value for me to just have random people watching me and calling me crazy, if that makes sense. So I'm okay with that. So I'm just putting them on something. This this baby can easily be a boy or girl. Um Yeah, this this baby can easily be a boy or a girl. I do I I don't watch as many YouTube channels uh doll related stuff. As I used to but I do still watch some channels especially if I love to listen to it like if I like 
the conversations that they're having. I like watching their babies or their clothing style even. Some people I just watch even for the clothing style. Um, some stuff I pop in and I might have a comment, you know, and I'll leave a comment here, there. Um, but I kind of, you know, I kind of stick to, you know, what I like, you know, and then sometimes I, I really like a person and then they kind of start following a different crowd and they change up on me and I'm kind of like, ah, okay, I'm done with that channel, you know, and it just kind of go from there. But I, I am not motivated by like, you know, clicks and stuff like that. I just find what I like and I enjoy it and I just go from there. Um, but I, I'm just like everybody else. I'm human. I like to look at the, <laughs> the drama sometimes. Sometimes I don't, honestly. I, and I, I only don't sometimes when it's kind of too close or too personal. Like, say, for instance, if it's something that would get me, like, riled up and want to add my two cents in, I try not to get too in tune into those type conversations because I don't want to get sucked back into that type of mindset um because I like it just the way I am now I really am enjoying just the hobby and collecting and I fuss enough about the sculpts <laughs> I do um one of the things I want to explain here um that I didn't say in my other video and I think it's important that I do talk about this. And one of my friends wrote me and asked me about this because uh, they was curious. And that is the pacifiers that I have. And I was showing you guys I got these pacifiers. I really love these pacifiers. They're really good props. I think they're good for props because they're really cute. Um, but they are latex. They are rubber pacifiers. Though The nipples. And for me, I do not usually use these on my silicone babies. Um, just because latex and the silicone uh, can react to one another and will cause the uh, silicone not to cure properly. And a lot of people think, oh, I'll just take it out. And just It won't be in there that long. And blah, 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 blah. And they'll be okay. Well, I don't know that for sure. So I don't normally take that risk, but however, I did think they were really cute and I do like them. I actually intend on trying to modify um, one of them for a magnetic uh, pacifier, but I haven't, I haven't got to that point yet. Um, also, like if the baby is already painted and everything is already cured, um, people say, okay, we'll do it that way. You can use it after the fact, but then if you run into a problem and you need to go do a repair on the baby, then you're kind of stuck. Um, kind of stuck and you got to make sure you really clean it good or something, I don't know, to keep it from, you know, to get it to cure again. Um, and I, I'm not that deep into silicone to where I can play those tricks. Um, but... Um, you never know, but I, I, I just wouldn't do it in general purposes, but those are just for decor. I just wanted to clear that up. Um, <clears throat> and plus if you leave them next to silicone, a lot of times they'll turn the, uh, nipples a different color, like a yellow tinge to it. But this pacifier I found on, um... Amazon and it is silicone so I love this I love this one um, I really really uh, this is made in Italy sterilizable da, da 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 it's pretty cool how it looks when you sterilize it too but um because when you first get it, it tells you you have to sterilize it I don't know why but I mean well I guess so this one is silicone and I, I thought this one was cute because it looks like it's not silicone. So she, she gets to get that one. 
Um, I really like her with these hands. Girl, you gonna miss them hands when you gotta give them back. <laughs> you ain't gonna have no hands, boopy. <laughs> no hands, no hands, no hands. Oh, Puka, I'm gonna feel so bad when she ain't got no hands. Because, I mean, don't she look so cute with hands? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And yellow is such a funny color because like for me, a lot of people don't look good in yellow. Yellow is a hard color to pull off. Um, but when you do, it just, it looks so baby and I really like to see babies in yellows. Um, so I really like her in yellow. This is a preemie size. And it's crazy because I actually like her on this smaller preemie body. I ordered her a large preemie though. So I ordered her the same size that India is on. Hopefully it still works. This one is more narrow. And I had this one done specifically for, um, for him. So I don't know. I think I, hopefully the other one still fits, fits her good. Cause I really do like her on this one, but she'll be a little bigger with the other body. I, love, I, I really, really love her. So, can't wait to paint the awake version. Well, I can't wait, actually. I don't usually do that good with the awake version. But I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see, like, her hands. I mean, these hands with her. But she's so cute. I don't know. I like her in yellow. But anyway, I just thought I would come on and share that part. And, um, yeah. So... I just wanted to say I, you know, some people ask me like, what do you think about this or that or, and I, I, I try not to think too much about any hard topics or back and forth that people deal with, especially if it's been going on for 20 years. I mean, I'm kind of like, seriously, people, um, I just kind of like just stay over here in my own lane and try to work on my babies and play dolly like you know i'm still 12 years old if that's what people want to say <laughs> oh my goodness okay i'm sorry i gotta pick i gotta pick this one up and see oh the hat is gonna fall off look at you see and that's another thing i like to do i like to really <laughs> I like to to lay them up against my skin if they look like like if their skin tone looks kind of like fake against my skin tone if that makes sense like if if when I put them against my skin tone it doesn't look like it could be a real baby laying up against me um then I feel like I fail um but as long as they still look like, you know what I mean? I don't know, fleshy light color, then I feel good. I feel like I did I did a good job. So, yeah. But anyway, that is that, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am going to go. I might take her some pictures with these hands. <laughs> she don't get to keep them, though. I, I hate it, though. Um, And for those that may want to know, I know I hadn't really said it much, but she is the Rosen by Jamie Lynn Powers I call her I'd be like it's the raisin sculpt I never can quite um remember the name so but yeah oh my gosh I love her <laughs> let me go okay bye